I'm gonna tell you five different ways you can make money live streaming. Let's go. I'm Nick Nimmin, welcome to Uscreen, where we help you monetize your videos online. Did you know that a lot of creators are using live streaming to generate some nice additional income? For some people, it's a lot of additional income. For other people, it's enough to cover maybe a car payment or maybe some money to put aside so that they can take a nice vacation somewhere. Of course, it comes down to how you decide to monetize and exactly what it is that you offer your viewers, but here are five ways that you can monetize your live streams now. The very first is fan donations and Super Chat. Fan donations and Super Chats are one of the very first ways that people often get started with monetizing their live streams. The donations for this one can be great. However, for this one, you are going to need to be a part of the YouTube Partner Program. But in a nutshell, if someone is enjoying your streams, they can tip you or donate to you during a live stream. This can happen through built-in systems like YouTube and Twitch, or you can use third-party systems in order to accept donations. A few examples of third-party donation systems are Buy Me A Coffee, Streamlabs, and Co. And look, I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, hey, Nick, what's a $5 donation going to help me with? And I understand that logic, but if you scale it across a lot of viewers, then it can start to add up pretty quickly. The only bad thing about this type of donation, in my opinion, is that it can generate extra work for you because eventually there's going to be some type of obligation that you might feel for people that are giving you the donations. Like you're gonna have to do something a little bit extra for the people that are giving you donations. We'll call it an obligation of sorts. And don't get me wrong, it's not a big deal, but some people will feel like they have the go ahead to invade some of your personal space just because they gave you $5. The awesome thing on the other hand, is that you don't necessarily have to structure it to where you are giving something in return. So for example, you can make it to where when they donate, they are just giving to the cause instead of expecting something in return. Doing it this way cuts out any additional work that you might need to do, and it truly supports you as the creator. But if you do offer something of value in return, then there's a really good chance that you will get more donations. Plus, it's kind of the cool thing to do. Number two is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing, if you're not familiar with the term, is when you send someone to a product or service online and when they go through your link, if that person makes a purchase, you will get a commission. You can use this in live streams by reviewing products or you can just highlight the specific products and services that you use personally. The bad thing about affiliate marketing is it can take some time to start generating any real income from affiliate marketing unless you already have a lot of traffic coming in. Also, depending on what you promote, if what you you're promoting is not something that has recurring revenue every single month, then it kind of puts you on the hamster wheel to constantly be trying to sell whatever it is that you're promoting. Three, selling merchandise. Merchandise is very popular. People love to support their favorite creators by getting their merchandise, especially if you're clever with your designs. Selling merchandise isn't necessarily just putting your logo on a t-shirt and having people buy that. Selling merchandise is more about finding things that would resonate with your core audience making merchandise around that. It could be catchphrases or other things that only your audience would understand. Or if you have a specific type of person that's watching your content, another thing that you can do with merchandise is just think about things that your audience would think is clever. Merchandise is great, but typically you're gonna need a bigger presence or a lot of viewers in your live stream in order to really make merchandise pay off. I'm talking a lot of engaged fans. You'll also need a designer if you don't know how to make designs yourself, but once you get the ball rolling, merchandise can have a snowball effect of sorts when other people in the community start seeing other people in the community wearing their merchandise and posting on social media about it. It kind of has the social proof effect of other people seeing other people wearing your stuff. Number four, sponsorships. Yes, brands will pay you to mention them or put their products or services or even their logos in your live streams. If you have a very targeted audience, reaching out to brands for sponsorships is a great way to bring more exposure to those brands, connect your viewers with companies that you trust, and make you some extra money in the process. Working with brands is awesome, but it does come with extra responsibilities and requirements. For example, if you are wanting to pivot with the type of content that you're making, well, if you have a contract and you still have time in that contract, then what you're gonna have to do once you start making that pivot is you're gonna have to try to find a way to work that sponsor into the new type of content that you're making. Or you're gonna have to make the old type of content that they signed up for for those particular videos just so that you can make sure that you are going along with the agreement that you've made. But the awesome thing about working with sponsors is the consistency. If you can work out long-term brand deals or become a brand ambassador of sorts, then 
then you can make dependable income every month without having to go and chase down new deals all the time. Number five is exclusive or private live streams for paying members. With exclusive live streams, you can create special access to you for your viewers. This can be in the form of Q and A's or special events that you only let paid members participate in. You can even turn it into a club of sorts where exclusive live streams are one of the perks. A really cool thing about exclusive live streams is since it's recurring revenue, it can seriously add up over a very short period of time. And it can be something that you can depend on in terms of revenue where a sponsorship, for example, might run out at the end of the contract. Exclusive live streams are also really good because they allow you to have that intimate connection with your paying members. Where public streams, on the other hand, can get a little bit crowded because there's just so many people in the public streams that it's really difficult to give attention to a specific viewer. Plus, with the exclusive live streams, every single person that you're talking to in those live streams, they are proven to be into your content enough to purchase access to your live streams, which means they are also good candidates for any future promotions that you might have. At Uscreen, we thrive on helping content creators make money from doing what they love. And it doesn't matter if it's live streaming or making videos, we'll help you set the whole thing up and answer any questions that you have. I'll put a link to us down in the description below. And to learn even more ways to make money from your content, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.